Hey, so just uh, here to continue our unit two notes, this time on states of matter. We've talked about states of matter a little bit through our discussions in unit one, but now we're going to look at it in the context of temperature, energy, um, specifically. So state of matter is going to of a substance is going to depend on the temperature of the substance. Um, temperature can be defined as the measure of the average kinetic energy of that substance. Okay. Kinetic energy, which we can abbreviate KE, capital letters for each, of an object um, is the energy due to its motion. Okay. You may have learned about this in a science class before. Okay. The higher the temperature, the more kinetic energy, and again, I'm going to abbreviate this capital K, capital E, in the system, which means that you've got more motion of the particles. And okay, we kind of have already talked about this in our diffusion of hot and cold liquids. So what we have in a solid is particles that are close together. And because they're close together, they're going to move slowly. Okay, you saw this in your Eureka video for solids. In a liquid, these particles are going to be further apart. And because they're further apart, they're going to be able to move faster and move more. Okay. In a gas, particles are very spread out. And because of this, they're going to move the fastest. A gas is a state of matter with the highest kinetic energy, while a solid is the matter with the least amount of kinetic energy. So if we're talking about the same substances, this should make sense in terms of temperature, right? Let's think about water, for example. Okay, ice is solid water, okay, and that's going to exist at lower temperatures compared to liquid water, right? Zero to 100 degrees Celsius. And then when we're above 100 degrees Celsius, higher temperature, that's when we're going to be at the gas. Okay, so we've got slow moving close together particles for solid, um, further apart, slightly faster moving particles for a liquid, and then for a gas, they're going to be spread apart and moving the fastest. So let's show that in our particle models here. Since I talked about water, let's kind of model that. I'm going to use blue for my particles. Now, what I want to show in these is not only the spacing of the particles and the movement of the particles, but I also want to show that we're looking at the same sample of matter. I'm going to do that by keeping the same number of particles. So I'm going to pick just a nice small number. Um, I'm going to use six particles. Okay, so there's my six particles for my solid. These are pretty close together. They're really not moving very much. They're just kind of wiggling in place. So we have a couple ways we can show that. Um, we can use kind of wiggle lines, kind of like quotation marks, right, to show that these particles are moving. That's one way um, to show that motion because they're really in place. If you think about this, um, like if you're sitting in a chair or sitting at a desk in the classroom, you can move around in your seat a little bit, but as long as you're sitting in your chair, you don't have a lot of space to move. Okay, so moving on to the liquid, we've got faster moving particles that are further spread apart. So I'm still going to use six particles. Okay. They're going to be further apart, and I'm going to show that they're moving faster. But because they're moving more, I'm going to use those whooshy lines or arrows to show that motion. Okay. Gas, really, really spread out. In this case, I want to show them spread apart to fill my entire container. Okay. And I also want to show that they're moving faster. So instead of one whoosh line, I'm going to use two whoosh lines. Okay. Again, we want to show that these particles are moving in different directions. So my Wooshy lines are going to go in all kinds of different ways. Okay, so this is the particle model showing the difference in spacing and the difference in movement of each of our states of matter because of the difference in temperature and kinetic energy.